Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is video number uh, uh, part number twenty eight of our introduction to uh, SQL uh, with MySQL series. Okay, so we have been learning the different types of uh, learning about SQL, how to you know, uh, create databases, uh, so procedures, views, functions, variables, and all that. Okay, so if you're new to the channel or you're new to this series, this is what I've been doing so far. So I'm moving to the part of database design where we have learned about ERDs, uh, primary keys, foreign keys, and now we're looking at different data types and uh, how you can use these different data types okay so i've been looking at a couple of different data types for now so in this section you have moved into the last uh, part of the data type which is a special a uh, special data so look at numeric data types string data types time and date types and also you have look at special uh, you're going to be looking at special data types in this video okay so if you're new to the channel please kindly consider subscribing this channel is about programming python machine learning data science data analysis like this uh, my schools for all aiming at data analysis so if you're beginning your data analysis video, this uh, is a good place to start. So you can learn SQL, where I take you from the very basic beginning, and then you can learn on add-on uh, programming languages like Python, and then learn other things to get like a, to become a professional data analyst. Okay, so uh, let's jump into it. Let's not waste more time. So let's jump into it. And for special types, we have two main types. We have JSON, and also we can also, we also have matrix. Uh, matrix. So matrix is the main one, but JSON is just, I just added on JSON. So special uh, geometrics is just for storing uh geometric information like for example longitude latitude so that those longitude and latitude can be used to identify positions on maps and other stuff like that so you want to maybe if you are uh, for example if you are building an application and you want to know as the user for where they are where they are located then you can store that geo, geo geometric information of their location in uh in terms of latitude and latitude and you can use the geometric data type to store that in a database okay so i'm not going to demonstrate you an example of that but we'll be looking at json we'll cover json in a bit more so json stands for javascript object notation right the j for java java the s for script the o for object and then the n for notation so it just as uh, an acronym for java javascript object notation and it's used to store key value pairs that's what json basically is so a key colon value comma key colon value comma key colon value and that's what basically json is so if you have followed my tutorial if you have been following my channel for a while we probably can we, we use json a lot because i do a lot of back end stuff so we probably do a lot of come across JSON a lot and you're probably familiar with json so json has nothing to do with javascript it's just a form of data exchange between applications like apis or front end and back end applications and also using databases in case because sometimes you want to exchange data between uh, maybe a back end application and front end application you're pulling that data from a database then it will maybe you want it to be in json and i'll show you some of the reason why you want to applicate your 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 code your data type to be in JSON. So, for example, let me just show you why would you would want to use JSON. So, looking at this table right here uh, from our vehicles table, right, our products table, we have vehicle name, the quantity in stock. Uh, okay, this is a table that I have. I'm going to create this table for. Uh, I'm going to show how to create this table, and I'm going to use this table to teach you about JSON. Okay, and how you can use it in your databases and why it is beneficiary. So let's say we have this product table that has a pro the vehicle name, the quantity in stock, the buy price, the mileage, the self-driving car, the self-driving, like if the car is a self-driving car or not. And then we also have another uh, another column that says rear view camera. Like some cars have rear view cameras, so you can just like see what's going on behind, right? You can turn on the rear view camera when reversing or something like that. And then they can add have more other features. So for example, the cars have made many many features. For example, as we go into the uh, future we see that more and more cars are becoming self-driving cars, right? So if you're having a database uh, storing vehicle information, you might want to know if the, the car is self-driving car or not. But at this time of the day, at this time of the time, uh, it might not be a big necessity, but as time goes on, you're, you're having a car dealership, you might want to update your databases to uh, show which car is self-driving car or not, like it has like autopilot or not. So for example, we have Tesla Model X, right? That's a self-driving car. We have Toyota Vitz, that's not a self-driving car. We have Mada, Mazda uh, XCX5, that's a SUV, it's not a self-driving car, okay? Does it have a rear view camera? Yeah, does a Toyota Vitz have a, a rear view camera? All the Vitz I know, they don't have a camera. If you're not Toyota Vitz, it's fine, it's just a uh, Toyota vehicle. And we have Tesla Model X, I think Tesla obviously should have a, a, a rear view camera. So this uh, basically, they also have some random prices. These are not the actual prices, just uh, some placeholders. Okay, so now let's say that you are working in a company uh, and then the manager comes and say, you know what, I want another another field, another column instead of our database or another attribute instead of our database that is going to be pointing to the manufacturer of the vehicle. So you say, okay, uh, you, you are the data engineer or you're doing a database. So you say, okay, 
So if you're working with maybe like in a startup, you would do like most of the stuff, right? Even if you're data analyst, so you might even be required to build databases. So you just you just get that information that you want that they want a new column added into a database that indicates the manufacture of the car. So you as a data analyst, you just say, okay, that's fine. I, you can do that, right? So you go ahead and update that, right? You just update manufacturer. So some cars have manufacturers like Tesla Model X, you know, it was from Tesla. Maybe for the Toyota one, let's assume you don't know. Mazda one, you know, is from Mazda. So some of the fields you know, and some of the fields you don't know. And also looking at the self-driving cars, not all not all cars are self-driving cars. So storing most of the time have no, 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 and no, no, no in our database. That's just a waste of space, right? Is there another way we can solve this? Uh, so store this information, but without without having storing just now, now, now in our database. Like that's just a waste of space, right? Okay, so let's say that you another day the owner of the company comes and say hey uh this uh there's this new in the future they come up with another future uh, feature of a car. the service the service the car is of like a flying car like the car can fly so you are required again as a, as a data scientist or data analyst or a data engineer to add another feature into the database and then all the all the previous records we just have now for that value that's just a waste of time right and then after another day they'll come again add more features so as, as, as for you as a data analyst that's a huge headache for you to manage. So which data type can you use to solve this problem? Because each car will have its own set of features. So we can have a fit, all the fit, all the possible features for all cars in, as rows in our database. That database will be uh, will have ridiculously huge number of features, right? Or a huge number of columns. So we don't want that in, we don't want that in our database or we don't want that, we don't want having that feature or having that design so what can you do in this such a case so you might be wondering okay we are just wasting space storing now value for each new feature we identified and after every three days they have discovered a new feature and have to go and add it so i say you as a data scientist that's ridiculously a lot of work for you so the simple answer you might have to this problem is simply using a json data type so a json data type simply uh, makes a job sounds a bit much easier so in such a case, what do you think is probably the best solution to a problem? The best solution to a problem is just having using a JSON data type instead. So what's JSON? And you probably maybe you're not familiar with JSON. So let's take a look at what I'm trying to mean. So instead of having multiple features, multiple columns, and each time they're adding more columns and more columns, and you have to go and then add new columns and then set all the old ones to now, right? That's a ridiculously huge amount of work. So instead of just having adding new columns so every time a new feature comes up you just add property instead you just add one single column called property and have its data type as json so what json is just is is a key value pair so for example uh you want to so that now the company wants to also store mileage so let's say mileage and then colon and then the value for that mileage self-driving car colon and you can say yes or no and then you say rear view mirror either it has a rear view mirror or not you can just say colon yes manufacturer you can store that information so you can see here we have the same information, but now we also have the manufacturer is Toyota. And then here we don't we didn't even actually store the manufacturer's information. So we can store each uh, each product can have its own set of properties or own set of features without having to create a new column to hold all these features. So all that can be within one column, right? So grouping everything together and just putting like in a sack and then putting that sack in one column. That's one way you can think of it. That's where JSON comes in. So uh, you might be a bit, uh, you can think of, just pause the video a bit and think about it. So uh, having it as a JSON file or having as a JSON column, it's actually way, way better than having it as having individual columns for each of these values. So you can just group all the values into one chunk and then drop it into one single column using, uh, which is gonna be of type JSON type. So that makes a lot of your work as a developer much, much simpler. So whenever a new feature comes, you don't have to create a new column. You just have to add it to that specific product. Because each product can have its own set of features that others do not have. So there's no point of creating a new column just for that specific product, right? You can just add it in form of a JSON and drop it in there. So you can see right here, we don't have the manufacturer's information, but all the other tools have the manufacturer's information. So these features can differ from one product to another one, and it won't affect you having to add new columns, right? So that's way, way, way efficient than adding new column like we have been discussing right here. Okay. Okay, so to demonstrate this too, let me just go into my uh, my school workbench. Let me just close this. Okay, so I've been using this in the last video. So let me just close uh, this. So let me just bring this back right here and uh, we can actually just close this. I don't want to save it. Don't save. Okay, so uh, I just close some of this. I have too many tabs open. So just bear with me. Close these apps. Close this. Close this. Close this. Close this. Close this. Okay, sorry for that. Uh, I just have to close all this up. I don't know why I open so many tabs. 
okay so yeah so that's basically it so one open up so good so once i have this then i have a database that i i want you guys to run so uh let me just go ahead and show you what i'm trying to do so i have this code right here and this is going to create for you a database uh, emulating what we have been discussing so far okay so this is going to be creating a database exactly like this one so just copy the code in here i'm going to find leave the link to this code in the description of the video uh, you can find this code there so just uh, go ahead copy this right here and then simply run it and this is going to create for you a database and insert these three records which are uh, described right here so it's going to create for you a database that looks like this okay so let me just go ahead and uh, show you that database so make sure you go ahead copy this code uh, from the link in the description i'm going to send you the link you click on that link you open uh, it brings you here copy this code uh, paste it and in, in, your, in your code right here and then simply run it so once after you run it uh, uh, it's going to go ahead and set your default it's going to create for you a database called uh, vehicles db which is this right here so i'm going to set as default schema but if you run this code it's going to go ahead and uh, set it as default schema by default okay so as I, after you run it you can go into tables and you can go into product and then simply click on that and view so you can see we have the same information right you can see we have the vehicle name the 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 quantity in stock the price and this is just the same information from the slides right so i just brought it in here okay so once i have that in here what i'm simply going to go ahead and do is just simply select everything which is simply brings you this right cool good so what i also want to go ahead and do okay just go ahead let me just use a new hundred i'm just going to say select uh, i'm going to select everything which is going to be all the columns and this is going to be from uh products products table because we call it there is table is called products right you don't have to use the name of the, we don't have to use the name of the database because we set it as default schema okay so once i have that i'm going to select this and simply run it and that's going to simply transmit the same record as we did before so now i want to go ahead and filter where i want to get all uh i want to get mileage of a uh, of the vehicle which is whose cars whose mileage is 30 so i want to go ahead and filter for a vehicle whose mileage is 30. so i'm just going to go ahead here and simply run the code so i'm going to simply say uh select I'm going to select uh, all the columns from um, just keep up okay so maybe from product uh we're going to say where where to filter where so we're going to say where uh you can, there, there are many syntax of filtering but i'm going to go i'm going to go ahead and show you three different syntax so you can say uh, the first one is json underscore contains and then you go ahead and simply pass in the field that you want and the field is called property right here so you can say property property just like that so I hope that's a spelling of yeah that's spelling of property and i'm going to go ahead and pass in now a list i'm going to pass in a string right here instead of this string i'm going to go ahead and pass in a json object so uh just like that so make sure i use if you use single quotes on the outside then you can use double quotes on the inside if you use double quotes on the outside then you can use single quotes on the inside but don't use both of them either ways okay the reason why is being the reason why being that uh, if you do that uh it would think that this this uh, closes this which is not what you want to implement so yeah so, so you should have if you use single quotes on the outside use uh double quotes on the inside if you use double quotes on the outside use single quotes on the on the in, on the inside right so just by vice versa so once you go in here you want to get the car whose mileage is 30 so we're going to say mile mile age and then mileage and then you have say colon and you say 30. so what this is going to go ahead and do is going to return to you a car whose mileage is 30. so don't forget to close this or close this up and then end this let me just zoom up uh, zoom out a bit yeah, so there's a query that we have right here so select everything from product uh, where json contains and then pass in the uh, the column which is property and then finally the json information that you want to filter for so once i have that i can simply go ahead and run the query now you can, you can see it returns to me the car which has a mileage of 30 which is this one so if i put 10 that should return to me the tesla right because the tesla has a mileage of 10 so i'm going to put 10 and then simply run it and that should return to me just the tesla the tesla model x because it has a mileage of 10 right we discussed right here the mileage of 10. okay good so that's the one way another syntax of doing the same thing i'm just going to go ahead and simply copy this uh and just go down here and paste another syntax of doing this is just saying uh using uh th this syntax strategy you can say json uh, json extract okay so we're going to say json uh let me just show you one before i move to json extract let me just show you another one which is going to be uh you're just going to go ahead and say property property which is the name of the of the column that you're interested in okay and we say property and i'm going to use this uh this operator symbol okay uh just uh minus sign and then an arrow key or a greater i don't know if it's greater than or less than a sign and then finally you pass in a string so instead of this string you say dollar sign so you the dollar, the dollar sign is compulsory so dollar sign and then you say dot and then you say the key right the key is this one right here. this is the key and this is the value so key and then the value the key that you want is mileage so i'm going to say mile uh mileage 
and then finally you say mileage to be equals to let's say mileage of 30 mileage equals to 30 so it's going to return to you uh the cars that have a mileage of 30. so if you turn you get, you get back the toyota fit so if i change this back to 10 that should turn to as the toyota uh sorry the mazda right the mazda cx5 so you can see we get the mother uh the tesla back here so if i change this to be 150 we should get back uh so if i change this to be 150 we should get back the master okay so information about the master because it has a mileage of that so that's was the master okay so wow you can see we're getting that information back another way of rewriting the same syntax is uh, let me just show it because there are three there are, i don't know for, I, for me i know three ways of writing this syntax there might be more ways of writing this syntax another way you can do it just say json extract so let me just delete uh this right here let me close this off and just say json extract instead of contain so say extract and then finally you're going to go ahead and copy this information right here uh simply copy everything in fact i'll just copy everything right here delete this paste it here so good uh that's it and i just say comma and then finally let me close off this right here so good so i just saying json extract you pass in the, the the field which is this attribute right here the property attribute and you say dot dollar sign dot and then the 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 key the key and it's at the value is the key is equals to 150 you're going to find a cars with mileage of 150 so run the code we get back the mazda uh, uh, cx5 so that's great if you change this to 10 you get back uh, sorry if you change this to 10 you should get back the the tesla right so change this to 10 and then get back the tesla so good that's one way of doing it so yeah that's one way of doing it so you guys just run the, that query and get all that information so yeah yeah that's basically how to work with json from uh, json data again if you have more question about json you can let me know in the comment section or you can go to the better option is actually just google wide and google because programming is much more about googling learning how to google because googling is really really important uh, so just go ahead and read of your documentation read about it online stack overflow uh stock exchange uh, so no stack overflow and all these other uh, other platforms you'll be able to get answers from there so more about this you can even watch other youtube videos on working with JSON data in MySQL. This is just an introduction, so I hope it helps you. And uh, this is all I wanted us to cover in this video. So thanks for watching. Again, if you're new to the channel, please kindly uh, do me a favor. Go ahead and uh, leak, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share this video with anyone who you think might find it helpful. Again, uh, if you want to help me further to improve my production quality, my video quality, uh, you can simply do that by buying me coffee. And uh, all that money goes back into the YouTube channel, so uh, kindly do that. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Keep safe.